All right, so today is backdoor day. Yes, we've been waiting and waiting to do this, and now if I don't cut this door out, it's gonna be in the way of the new framing. So we gotta put it in. It's currently pink, don't worry, it won't stay that way. It may not get painted today, we'll see if we have time. We've got two antique back plates. I'm gonna go shopping for a knob. Zeb's gonna cut a hole. So down here at the bottom, I just let this kind of hang like a plumb bob until it was level right where it wanted it and it does run right down that line. So I'm gonna snap it right there. So I told the guys down at Home Depot what I was looking for, and after I told them what I was doing, they wouldn't rent me a masonry saw for concrete. So I had to settle for this grinder and buy my own masonry blade for it. Their reasoning being, they said that the adobe brick was going to be too hard to cut for their saws. It was a younger guy, I'm sure he was probably just following policy, but this brick is not hard. Well, that grinder and masonry bit cut right through that like butter. It cut really easy. I'm gonna pull this plaster off so that I can get to it good and get deeper down into the brick. I was hoping to save some of these bricks, but they're pretty crumbly under this windowsill. I'm assuming they were wet at some point just from uh, being right here under the windowsill. This old wall, as crumbly as it is, is still pretty sturdy and, and put together well. While that's inside tearing down the rest of that block for this door, I'm going to go ahead and coat the inside portion of the door that will be inside the house. I'm not going to paint the exterior until we redo the exterior of the house because that side is completely exposed to the elements, so I'm just not gonna worry about it yet. Using DIY paint and Little Black Dress, the same paint we used on our front door that ironically we haven't sealed yet, but still looks fine. So I'll probably use Big Top over the top of this so I can wipe it off since it's in the kitchen. I've got my Panili Giuliani brush here. These are new on the website. And I've just got a high density foam roller. I'm not worried about getting the paint on the cement below because we're gonna repaint this porch anyway. So I'm just gonna go to town and get this door done. All right, one layer of brick down, one layer of brick to go. I'm gonna clean that up a little bit with the grinder there. That's the top of the windowsill where it gets real bright and that'll come out here in a minute, but I'm gonna leave that in until I get the rest of this brick out of here. All right, we're in the backyard and we're just gonna string line this. We need a level. So I drilled a hole from the inside so I know right where to put this on the bottom. And I'm just gonna let that kind of dangle and that'll give me my plumb on that. Just putting a second coat on here and then we'll be good to hang it. Just hit it like right here on this brick here. Let's just start an opening and then I should be able to pull them out brick by brick. Jamie's on the inside giving it a good whack. I'm gonna try to loosen this up. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, that's good, hold on. Boy, these bricks are in here much better.
Here, come hit it from outside, it'll go. Like hit it from the top down. Oh yeah. That one back way. Yeah, hey! All right, so in the middle of our grand mess here, we've got some larger bricks that kind of didn't cut well and just broke out with the mortar because they were so soft. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some mortar mix and fill these bigger holes back in. So everybody's been recommending getting a piping bag for mortar and I think that's a fantastic idea and every time I go to the hardware store, I forget to grab it. So I'm stuck doing it the hard way. All right, so I'm building the header back up. It's got these big four by fours underneath each one. I'm using these masonry screws to attach those. So I've got to redrill holes in the masonry and then attach this board. Then I'll attach a little header up here. So it's going to expand for a little bit. When it's all done expanding, I'll just take a razor knife and trim that off clean where it's pushed out of the crack. Thanks to daylight savings time, it is getting darker much earlier all of a sudden. So while it looks like I'm working into the wee hours of the night, it's like five o'clock. <laughs> so what I'm doing here, this is part of the structural upgrade. I'm going to build a new header that will actually support the weight and that goes up to the roof. This is just here for structural purposes. It's not really gonna be holding the weight, it's just gonna be holding its own weight. That's why I put the header back in, but I've gotta build a new header right now, which is what I'm doing. I'm putting this wall together, and then once that's done, I'll put some nice sheeting right over the top of this, and that'll be all one continuous piece, and you won't see any of this once it's all trimmed out. Time to put in the new header. This one will actually be the load-bearing header. once everything is said and done and the structural upgrades are complete. So the door jam I built custom. I didn't show how I did it because I just did a full DIY on it when we did the bathroom. So if you want to see that, I'll put the link in the description below or you can find it in the farmhouse renovation playlist. Okay, so that side's a little lower. All right, now to see if the door fits in there with the jam. Oh, it's tight. Might have to uh, do a little sanding on the door. Now I have this gap up top here which is a-okay because I'm gonna put a little weather stripping on the bottom. All right, okay. So I'm gonna tie all that in, make sure this is level here. And we'll go from there. So this was only a two hinge door and we're going to make it a three hinge door. I got an inch spacer underneath the door here and I'm going to mark where the hinges need to be. get excited when it actually shuts and works right. All 
All right, last little bit before I go home tonight. I'm gonna put a deadbolt on it in the morning. It'll be all right for the night, I think. out that back window. Yeah, we got a pretty great view. We need to get a kid over here and rake those leaves into a big <laughs> pile though. Probably, but this is the whole reason I wanted a door with a window to let some more light in and also just to let some of the beautiful backyard show through. So Jamie noted that it was colder in here this morning. Usually the house, even though there's no insulation on the roof and no heat in here, stays pretty warm because of the adobe walls but it got a little drafty. You can definitely see it pretty well with the sunlight shining through this morning. I'm cleaning off the window with a razor blade. I got a little over the edge here. Eventually this door is going to need to be sealed. Probably not gonna happen today, but we'll get put another coat of paint on it later and touch it up and then we'll seal it. So what I have here is weather stripping. While she cleans that, I'm just going to peel it apart. It's just a 3 8 inch weather stripping. It's got an adhesive on the back and I'm gonna run that right around here and that'll seal the door up. And then I'll add the weather strip down below and that'll help keep that wind and air and whatever from just flowing through underneath the door. So the last piece would be to attach this under door seal right here. And then that'll just slide real nice along the floor and everything will seal up against there. But I thought this was a sticky backer type and it is not designed to slide in. So I'll have to go, uh, you guys just have to imagine that. I gotta go get the right one. The door is in, functional, and mostly weatherproof, right? Mostly. We have to do some painting and some caulking, but it'll keep the wind out for now. And it'll put us that much closer to finishing up the structural stuff that needs to happen because this door had to go in before Zeb did the structural, whatever it's called, what's that? The structural upgrades. The structural upgrades, that's it. If you guys know of any company that makes replica antique doorknobs. I need their information below because I've got to find something better because I'm not happy with the knob that's on here, but it's what we have. It'll lock up the house for now. If you're interested in the paint that I use today or any of our DIY products, hit up jamierayvintage.com. It helps support our channel as well as supporting the farmhouse renovations that we have going on. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Hit the subscribe button.